Hello everyone, this video is done in collaboration with United24 Media, who helped get the information and sources which I used. We put out great content and are well worth a follow on YouTube. Now, onto the video. So I'm going to have a look here at the Ram 2 UAV. This is quite interesting. The funds for this were raised after a missile strike on October the 10th. A foundation started a collection, ominously titled Revenge. After 352 million UAH were donated, about $9.5 million, 50 RAM drones and 3 ground control stations were bought. Now the RAM isn't a new project, it's been around since 2015 as a development of the Lelica 100 reconnaissance drone. According to the manufacturer, the RAM has a 3kg warhead and has been used against tanks, APCs, BMPs and anti-aircraft artillery. Now these don't fully destroy the target, but if the drone hits a vehicle, the vehicle is disabled, putting it out of action anyway. And on the front lines, this can be just as good. It's extremely difficult to recover a damaged vehicle from the front. Not to mention those that are recovered and sent for repairs eat up the time of mechanics and spare parts and that sort of thing. These drones also have the option to return to base if unused, so if no target is available, they can return back and then slowly descend to the ground on a parachute to be safely recovered and reused. The most important feature, however, is the targeting system. The onboard camera features 30 times optics and are gyro stabilized as well as digitally stabilized. They can find a target from 3 kilometers away, ensuring high accuracy. Now the warhead. As mentioned, it's 3 kg, enough to damage most vehicles. This isn't the full story however. The RAM can be fitted with multiple warheads depending on missions, thermobaric, cluster and one called Fugas which is designed for anti-personnel. These are operated in conjunction with spotter drones. The spotter drone finds a target, coordinates are transmitted and the RAM is launched. The drone can either head there autonomously or be guided manually. It hits a target at a speed of 100 to 120 km per hour. Now range. The developer puts the flight time as up to 55 minutes and the flight distance as 30 km. So demonstrated on the front on this map is a rough example of where these could be launched from. The accuracy is stated to be about 1 meter. So these are pretty useful. Basically the counterparts of a Lancet that we've seen used. Head to head, the RAM has a slightly longer flight time the same payload, a slightly faster speed and a similar range. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it then please subscribe and also be sure to subscribe to United24 Media who helped get the information used for this video. Thanks again and take care everyone.